inside the meat. Just take a little sip, then I vision how I'ma ride the beat. Let the vocals out, now you witnessing a survivor speak. I done messed around and went viral right from my driver's seat. Just like what the industry was containing. I'd rather make a difference instead of hating, complaining. So let me park the whip, it don't matter, rapper or model chick, singer or comedian, perfect. Let's park in politics. Hey, let's park in politics. Hey, welcome to the pullover, let's park in politics. Hey, this the pullover, let's park in politics. Hey, I say this the pullover, let's park in politics. Uh, man, good morning, good morning, good morning. What's going on, everybody? Lockout man back in the building once again. Hey, this is for my replay gang, for the people that's coming in afterwards. You know, I know this is like early morning, and um, a lot of you guys is probably still asleep. Well, I hope you're not asleep. It's about, it's almost about 10 o'clock or something like that. But, man, last night, crazy, crazy. I mean, I, I, I will tell you a little bit. A little bit about it while I'm waiting for a few people to uh, jump up in the room. But then again, like, uh, there we go. But then again, you know what? Let me, let me, uh, let me put this. There we go. All right. Sorry about that. You know, I, you know, brother man is busy, like, throughout out all hours of the day, man. I mean, I get phone calls, I get emails. I mean, it, it's crazy trying to, you know, try to keep up with you guys and all like that. I drive, I do this, I do that. I do a lot of things for you guys, you know. But um, welcome to the Lockout Men podcast show where we park in politics with everything and everybody and all our guests. I am your humble host, Lockout Men. And in today's topic, man, I got a question. I got a question that I'm going to that I'm going to try and answer uh, for one of my subscribers. I figured that I would do a video answer because this is something that a lot of uh, a lot of people on YouTube don't talk about. They, you know, people always come in and, and talk about the bag. They talk about the money. They talk about, yo, I'm getting in the truck in the, the chase that bag. And to get that money. And a few of you guys don't even know what route to take to get into it, right? I mean, you guys come in and y'all be like, yo, uh, how, how how to get this or how to start that? Or or should I go to a, a, a company sponsor school? Should I should I get my license out of pocket? Now, guys, let me let you know. Some of these trucking schools is in the stratosphere of 5,000 plus. I talked to a young lady uh, a while back, uh, not, not a while back, like maybe not too long ago. I talked to a young lady and she told me that her school was $11,000. Let me, let me repeat that. Eleven thousand dollars man and when she told me that hold on let me uh go go here eleven there we go and when she told me that i was just blown away like how much eleven thousand dollars i mean i was tripping on the fact that my schooling cost me five thousand six hundred ninety four dollars and twenty four cents when i went up in there and i slapped that credit card down on that on that table and uh and and the and the secretary or the receptionist looked back at me she says uh you sure you want to you you want to do this i said man go ahead and knock it out before i change my mind and thank you capital one for making that happen for me it is now a default credit card but i am in the midst of getting my credit back together i guess i guess but anyway that's 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 a whole nother topic all right so first thing first i want to thank all you guys for supporting the channel i really do appreciate it and the best way to support the channel is by hitting that like button you know what i'm saying make sure that youtube know that you guys is vibing with me you know i do all of this i do all of this and more for you guys 
that's that's what I do. Um, let's get into today's topic right quick. So, Anthony Johnson proposed this question to me in my um, in, in my comments or in one of the com in one of the video comments, and he says, "Do you know where to get financial aid for trucking school?" Now, you know, this is a very, very good question because a lot of you guys really don't know where where to get financial aid. You know, some of you guys don't even know that there is financial aid available for truck driving schools, right? Uh, you know, back then when I was coming into the game, I did not pursue the fact the pursue the fact to find out if there was uh financial aid for me to come into the game and if there was if i would have did that then yeah i, I would have been in i, I would have been in trucking a little bit earlier than what i would have came into but of course life happens um you know stuff here stuff there and you know it it really wasn't a line for me to come into the game until the time I came into the game. So Anthony Johnson, man, this is for you. So what I did was, of course, what I'm going to tell everybody, you got to do your research. Google is the greatest tool on earth right now. It is the modern day encyclopedia. It is the modern day search engine, uh, ending, engine. You want to find something out there. You want to build something out there. You want to know something out there. Google can make the average person smart. I'm just saying. And some of this stuff you don't even have to pay for. Knowledge is always power. You know, if something that I know that's from my experience, I'm going to give it to you. But if I don't know I'm going to head right over to Google, over to YouTube, and, and, and try to find that information for you. And that's exactly what I did. So, courtesy of two places, Kirk Clark, Kirk Clerker, what's going on? My man said he, my man said he had his CDL since the beginning of 2005. I was unable to inquire any kind of financial aid or assistance. Not everybody qualifies. True, true, true. Not everybody qualifies because some financial aid assistants really look at your credit report. And if your credit report ain't all that great, then of course you're not going to get it. But there is some, some maneuvers. And of course, again, I, I went to the internet. I went to the web. I went to Google. My man DS uh, DS called me the Google King. I'm not exactly the Google King. I just just Google a lot. <laughs> so I found two places for you, bro. Um, CDL CDL Career Now. Uh, I found a little bit of information there, and the other place is CDL Training Today, and both places uh, explains financial aid for truck driving schools uh for for people that's interested in truck driving so let's um there we go so let's get into that right quick so uh what i do with it hold on hold on what i do with it all right so welcome to the uh welcome lom communities i really do appreciate it everybody from facebook everybody from the sheep uh sheet trucking podcast uh what's going on we are uh, simulcasting live from uh from those platforms this morning so i'm not going to read verbatim i'm just going to do some cliff notes because i highlighted a lot of a lot of spots on here so ways to get financial aid for truck driving schools including the work Force Investment Act, student loans, sponsorships, or I'm sorry, scholarships, tuition reimbursement, and of course, the company paid training. Now, for military veterans, that's an option for you, especially if you didn't get the um, if you didn't get your CDLs while you was in the military, 
there is an option for you to probably use your GI Bill to get your CDLs that way. Even though CDL training programs are rev relatively short, no more than like three weeks, two weeks, uh, you know, some is as long as a month. But when I talk to uh, Haitian, I think that's who I think that's who was on, and she told me that her CDLs was eleven thousand dollars, and it and that was for a six month course, I believe. But eleven thousand dollars, though, that's a lot of money. Um, again, some some only last for like a few weeks, a few months. And the cost of training can be more, you know, more for people that can afford. All right. So let's get into let's let's get into like where to start. All right. So you're you you you're interested. You see you you come on YouTube and you see all these drivers out here saying, "Yo, come and chase this bag," and we're making X amount of dollars, and you know you can make this money too. Then you see the commercials from from all these uh, trucking companies that saying, yo, make make $50,000, make $60,000, $70,000 in the first year, which ain't true. I'm just saying this. It's just not true. Not true. Clarence Rudy, good morning, man. What's going on? Uh, Clinton, my credit wasn't bad. I didn't, I did qualify for a loan at 25% interest. Mine was over 19, I mean, mine was over 9,000 for 17 days. Man, Clint, that's, that's crazy, crazy expensive for uh, trucking schools to be, you know, to teach us what we need to know, man. Uh, where to start? Where to start? First, you know, from, from CDL, from CDL now, they, they said, you know, they they said the uh, first thing to do is to go to the FAFSA, the Free Application for Federal Student Aid. All right. It says it will determine your eligibility for federal funds. Um, they also recommend that you contact your local school. Like if you're in my area, my area will be the uh, would be the Great Lakes Trucking School and uh, Tri-C Trucking Academy. So those will be the two uh, places that you can start and go in there and don't be intimidated. Go in there, talk to the uh, financial aid person and they can see what they can do, what they can find as far as getting you uh, federal aid or or see if you're eligible for, for any assistment, assistance. Next up is the Workforce Investment Act. Now, I heard about this plenty of times, and I wasn't too sure about this. I think this is for people that's on unemployment. So if you're if you're unemployed and you're finding it hard to find it, you know, find a job or something like that. And trucking is something that you might be interested in. Look at this. It's called the Workforce Investment Act. The Adult and Dislocated Workers Program under the title of Workforce Investment Act may have funds available for you for driver training. These funds are offered at a state level, helping people to train for new jobs when they are unable to find one in their current industry. And you know, with COVID that happened last year, shut down the shut down the world. And now everybody is trying to crawl back out of that shutdown and a lot of you guys are still out of work, still displacement, still don't know where that next dollar going to come from. The Workforce Investment Act will probably be something that you might be uh, interested in going to to see it. That can help you, you know, for job training. Uh, Clarence Rudy, good morning. Um, student loans. Now, I didn't I, I didn't know that you could use a student loan. I, I always thought student loans was for like colleges and stuff like that. But you can use it for truck driving training. Uh, you you go to uh, the truck driving school and, you know, they probably again, when you go there, 
uh, talk to your financial aid advisor there and they can uh, and they can, you know, advise you on what type of loans that are available, like Fannie Mae uh, and a couple of others. There are private loan institutions that may that may provide personal loans to students looking for assistance to pay for CDLs. These loans normally require a credit check. Let me repeat that. They normally require a credit check. So unfortunately for people that might have skirmish credit, bad credit, rebuilding credit, you may or may well you may qualify for it, but of course the APR is going to be through the roof, or you may or you may qualify for just maybe a half, and you probably might have to come out you probably might have to come out the other half out your pocket. Uh, if your credit score is low, sometimes having a co-signer, which not in these days unless you got like a best friend or or a parent or a family member that that really and truly trust you with their credit then I getting a co-signer is going to be hard it's <laughs> getting a co-signer period for co-signing anything especially when a person that got like like nets the nut and credit. Now, maybe if you're a guy, guy or a girl that's coming in with, you know, that you just starting, then yeah, I yeah, that a co-signer might help. But if you already got like bad credit and and you ain't you 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 didn't do your credit right, it's it's gonna be hard to find somebody to be like, yo, let me co-sign for you, and then you fuck up that uh you fuck up that loan or whatever then you messing up their credit i'm just saying i'm just saying um what it say hold on right quick student loans uh getting a loan from a private lender is a common form of financial aid for truck driving schools uh let me uh go i, I said there was two places uh where i where i found this uh information that and the other place is uh, financial aid for uh, truck driving schools. Um, truck driving, truck driver financial aid program information. Although most CDL training programs, you know, like I said, I think, uh, yeah, you, yeah, we, yeah. okay. Basically, it's basically the same information, but on two different on two different websites. Uh, 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 yeah, hold on right quick. I'm, I'm, I'm with y'all. I'm with y'all. See, this is what I do. I, this is this is what I like to do, man. This is what I like to do. Somebody asked me a question, and I'm able to help you out by, you know, taking the time to, to do this for you. You know, again, you know, you might be intimidated in – trying to you know get this stuff on your own it probably might be a heavy burden and you just don't know where to turn to and you come on youtube and you see guys like myself you see guys like myself that's that's really and truly interested in in, in getting the information out there for you you'd be like yo let me fuck with this guy all right let me let me mess with this guy um all right so student loans where, where did i stop at um tuition reimbursement All right. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Right quick. Hold on. Yeah. So tuition reimbursement and tuition reimbursement is only when you actually go to a trucking uh, trucking company that offers tuition reimbursement. Now, let me explain something to you about that, because that pretty much got me when uh, U.S. Express was vetting drivers from my school. Young lady came in, poured the milk, and then the next thing that really that really pulled the trigger for me is when she said, yo, you can get your money back that you paid for your school with. And I was like, shit. I paid 5000 and some change for this, and you guys telling me I'm going to get my money back? Oh, hell yeah. I'm signed right there on the dotted line. Let me, let's go. Let's go. And then when I got there and I was 
I, I got my first paycheck and it was like $150 towards tuition reimbursement. I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. Back up there, partner. Did, 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 did. Hello? 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 Yeah. Uh I I got $150 for my uh for my tuition reimbursement and my re my my tuition is like five thousand and some change. Oh 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 yeah, we we got you, we got you. Uh, you get one hundred and fifty dollars every week for three years. Wait 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 wait. You mean tell me I'm not I, I'm I'm not getting my full tuition back in one paycheck? No, who told you that? The recruiter did. You know, the recruiter was like, I get my re my my tuition reimbursed. You know, she made it like we get it back in the first in the first paycheck or the first month or whatever. Oh no, 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 sir. That it don't work like that, sir. Your tuition reimbursement will be dispersed in one hundred and fifty dollar increments, uh, every paycheck for as long as you're working for the company. So I'm over here like one hundred and fifty dollars uh, divided by. Five thousand and some change, and to 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 carry the one and 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 subtract the subtract the zero. Three years, yes, sir, yes, sir. That that's about right, sir. Three years, uh, maybe a little bit more, but yeah, three years. Are you you shitting me, right? Yeah, no, sir. We're not. We're not. No, a hundred and fifty dollars for three years to get reimbursed. So, yeah. Think about that when a company says, yeah, we'll reimburse you your tuition. Yeah, and, and don't get me wrong. It's the, don't get me wrong. That extra $150 come into, come into play. You know, it, it's, it's an extra boost to the paycheck. But realize this. If it's coming out of the paycheck, then it's being taxed. So you might not even get that full uh, tuition back, you know, for like every 150, like my tax bracket is like up here. So $150 equates to $100. So you might not even, well, not, it, it's not even a might not. You won't get that. You, you won't even get your, your full tuition back. I'm just saying some major carriers offer partial or full reimbursement for the cost of your CDL training. Usually this type of reimbursement comes in the form of small payments added on to your paycheck over the first year working for the company. No, no, it's it's dispersed over a number of years working for the company. So if you're if you're lucky enough to put in to put in work for like three, four, five years to get your total reimbursement, well, not even your total back, but to get some of your reimbursement back, I mean, your tuition back, that's a good thing. Uh, a for military veterans. Um, I, I did mention that before. If you're a vet, if you're in the military, here's a suggestion for anybody that's going into the military, especially the Army, because the Army will train you to drive, especially those big motherfucking Humvees and all like that. They're going to train you to drive and you can get your you can get your CDLs through uh, through the military. So if you jump into the military, then make sure that will be one of the route to do to get your CDLs. But if you didn't and you come out, then the Montgomery GI Bill, for example, can help cover the cost of truck driving schools all right uh, it's a low cost tuition just for veterans if you're a veteran and you finding it hard to 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 get your footing out here because i know it is you know when you come back out um truck driving will probably be the the next best solution um uh, let's see grants Here's some examples of some scholarships that are available. Uh, there are some scholarships available for CDL training. Of course, contact your local school that you're interested in and talk to your financial advisor, and they'll be able to uh, see what's available out there. The 
House Truckers of Tomorrow Scholarship. Uh, they offer $1,000 scholarships towards the tuition cost of, a, of attending a SAGE truck driving school. Women in Trucking Foundation Scholarship, uh, as the name implies, this uh, scholarship is just for women and they offer between five hundred and two thousand dollars per student. It's a lot of it's a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies, a lot of ladies. Kelly Cade, a lot of ladies this is coming into the business. Yo, y'all coming out here, ladies? We're waiting for you, and yo, we got some money for you. The Women in Trucking Foundation Scholarship, yo. Come on, ladies. We waiting on you. Uh, trucking tips. What's going on, my brother? He said, I suggest CRST or CR England to get started. It's how I started. Ah, uh, wait a minute. I'm about to get to that in a minute, bro. Now I I I I got I got I got different feelings about that, but this is not this this is not for this is not for my feelings. This is for me to help. This is for me to help Anthony Johnson uh, to come out here and get and 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 what 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 they say come out here and get to the bag, all right. It's not about coming out here getting to the bag, all right. It's about coming out here and enjoying life. And that bag is just a bonus. You know, some people come out here and they be like, "Yo, I just want to get out here and drive. I love driving. I love traveling. I love seeing different sights." Now, let me tell you, you, you're going to have to be vigilant if you want to see those sites, man, because when you come out here, shipper to receiver, receiver to shipper, shipper to receiver, receiver to shipper, truck stop. Big ass cornfield where I'm at right now. Shipper to receiver, it, you 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 get the gist. You get the gist. Um, company paid truck driving training now there's a lot of company paid truck driving training out here this like my man said crst is one of them cr england is another one um rail snyder swift pam and several others out there now there's a stipulation to that there's a stipulation to that. Company pay CDL training pro, uh, training from a company is is something that you might want to consider if all else fails. If you don't have the money, if you don't have the credit, if you can't get scholarship, if you can't get a grant, if you can't get part of the workforce program. All else fails. This will be the last resort. Company paid truck driving training. Now, listen here. Listen here. There's a lot of them out here that's offering it. But not all is good, though. Not all is good. Now, remember, when you going in for company paid training, just know that you're going to be in a flock of millions, all right? Now, a company paid training with a good reputation can be an excellent option for some students. However, you should be fully informed before signing any contract. The company paid option normally requires you to do about a year to maybe eight months to a year to pay that back. All right. In small form in small sums of each paycheck over the first year or maybe year and a half. Now, some company, some company training, some company paid training, which is good, and I will admit, Prime is one of them. All right. Prime. Now, but just remember, just remember. You're not going to get that one-on-one -on -one time with the instructor because he's going to have to divide his time amongst you and about 40. What'd I say? 40. Hit that bomb. 
Forty. Forty people. Wait, is it? Is it right? Y'all know what I mean. Forty people. He's going to have to split his time between that. So you're going to have to be, you're going to have to be like that. Now, before all of the, before COVID, before all of this stuff, you was able to go and get your permit at the same place. You was able to go, uh, you was able to go and get your permit and all like that. That's, they want you to get your permit before you come to the school. And I think that's what the truck driving schools as well, because when I went, when I went to go and get mine, uh, I, I had to go and get my permit. I had to go, you know, the school, you know, made me go and get my permit. And then after everybody got their permit, then we started the training. So with these trucking companies, what you're going to have to do, whatever state you're in, whatever state you're in. And I got some good, um, I got some good CDL training as well. Hold on right quick. I'm about to pull it up for you. Whoops. Uh, yeah, here we go. Uh, all right, related to your search. All right, so um, there's some good CDL prep training that you can download from the App Store or some good CDL prep training that you can find online. But the best thing that you can do is to read the book. Go to the DMV, grab that book, and when you grab that book, study it study it from from the first page all the way to the last page all right but the cdl prep uh apps on the uh on the cell phone is very helpful as well uh there are cdl practice dmv permit dmv written cdl practice uh cdl prep cdl genie uh, cdl practice Learner's permit, uh, 3M, 3MD CDL prep. Yeah, all, all you got to do is just type it into your phone and you should be able to find it. So, again, make sure you get your, your permit and then go ahead and make the extensive trip to whatever company that you want to, uh, that you want to uh, get with. Again, my girl, Kelly Cade, I love those pictures. You just do something with me. Mm. Man, look, if your, your calling, Kelly Cade, is photography. So whenever you decide to get up out that truck, make sure that your next passion will be photography, man, because you is sweet with the camera. I tell you, you are sweet with the camera. Kelly K says, I wish, I wish I knew there was financial aid and scholarships for truckers. I know. I know. This is a lot of information that I, I wish that I had. But of course, back then. Out here and chase this bag. And I'm making this amount of money. And, and you can too. But they never said anything about what I'm saying now of how to get in there until my man, Anthony Johnson, says, do you know where to get financial aid for trucking school? Anthony Johnson, hell of a question. He commented that about two days ago, and I was going to type back and be like, no, nah, I'm going to make a video because people that's coming in, you know, that's coming in, that's interested in this industry needs to know that there are options. There are options. Again, uh, let me go over what the options are for the people that's coming up in here. Uh, Workforce Investment Act, that's for people that's, that are unemployed. Of course, student loans, tuition reimbursements, which I just said, veterans. You know, if you just came out of the military for whatever reason, you, you got, you know, you got options like that. Um, and again, the last option will be to jump on with a company paid school. But other financial options, uh, believe it or not, there are a lot more options available when it comes to financial aid for trucking. However, 
not all options are available in all states and not at all schools. If you're interested in exploring all financial aid options available to you um, on CDL training today, they got a form that you can fill out and they will put you in touch of the in touch of the people that can probably help you. Popular. Now, before I get on up out of here, I want to thank everybody for being here. I really do appreciate it. If I bring value to this channel and to you guys, please support the channel by hitting that like button. Make sure you hit the uh, make sure you hit the subscribe and the all button because this is what I do. This is what I do. Ask me a question, and I will come back with the. And I will try to come back with the best answer that I can. Put it in a comment below, and if it's a and if it's a good question, I'll make a whole video around it. All right. Um, let's see. Sean two hundred three says I got an offer from CR England calling calling Swift today. That's what's up, my brother. That's what's up. Uh, I hope uh, I hope you get. I hope you know much success to you when you get out there. Uh, Kelly K. Right. Might as well do van life if you just want to see this i mean to sightsee yeah there's you know there's what i'm about to do now is uh you know wait van life oh wait 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 you talking about something else my bad see you see how you just you see how you just throw me off with them eyes kelly k anyway um sean said night transportation yes maverick stevens yep yep uh, Tasha West Side, my uncle about to go into trucking school. That's what's up. That's what's up. Share this video with him, um, uh, Tasha. Share this video with him, you know, so, it, you know, that he can find out that there are options for financial aid to get out of here. Kelly K, you silly. I try to be. Just saying. Um, Malitha Codwell, what's going on? Have you been to sleep? Yeah, I, I just got up maybe about, maybe about, how long I, this is, I'm, out, I'm about 30 minutes in. So I got up maybe about an hour ago. And yeah, it, it was crazy last night, y'all. Um, I'm not even going to talk about it because the video is still up. Um, the accident that happened on I-65 and the meanwhile accident because I, I I killed the live feed before um by mistake and I restarted it again. So if you guys wanna if you guys wanna see what happened to me last night, definitely check that out. Uh my my clock is about to expire in about in about about 30, 30 minutes or something like that. And I'm on my way down to wait, hold on. I think I got hold on. There we go. Georgia. Yes, sir. Georgia. 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 I, you know, Georgia, man, crazy. All right. So popular cities for CDL training. Um, hmm. Cleveland's not on here. Why Cleveland not on this list? Cleveland is a popular city for, for training. I got my license in Cleveland. Shout out to the Tri-C Trucking Academy. I'm just saying, if you're from the 216 area code, Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? I love this shirt. Forever to the land. I love this shirt. So if you're from Cleveland, you know what I'm saying? If you're from Cleveland... Tri-C Trucking Academy, Great Lakes Trucking Academy. Those are the two popular uh, trucking academies to uh, look for. And, yeah, look, I don't care what you say, CDR training today. Cleveland is a popular city for students, but this is what they say. Albuquerque, Atlanta, Dallas, Columbus, Ohio. Wait, let me, you know what? Let me go back. Let me go back and emphasize. Let me go back and emphasize. Cleveland, Atlanta, Dallas, Columbus, Ohio, 
<laughs> I'll give you that. I'll give you the day. Uh, find 10. Oh! Enough of that. Kansas City, Missouri, and oh, uh, Wild Beard, uh, Wild Beard Trucking. Moment of silence. Okay, I'm back. You, you, Wild, Wild Beard. You know what that's for, my brother. I'm just saying. Um, lost. Vegas. Las Vegas is a popular city for trucking? I guess so. Memphis, Tennessee. Orlando. Now, now why would Orlando be a popular city for trucking? But this says for, uh, for trucking schools. It's not that much freight coming out of out of Florida. I'll give it a ding though. Phoenix, Richmond, San Antonio, and Tampa Bay. <laughs> Wild beard trucking. <laughs> Uh man, I know you don't want to hear Tampa Bay no more, right? Y'all, y'all don't want to hear. I, y- y- you guys don't want to hear that. And I watched that game too, man. I, it, it was, I don't know. All I could just say is, is that every year for the Super Bowl, every year for the Super Bowl, the quality of the halftime show, it just, it just goes down every year. I, I don't know what the hell was that with the uh what was that the weekend? I don't know what the hell was that. But anyway, get back on point, Sean. Thank you. Get back on point. It ain't about the Super Bowl over here. It's about helping Anthony Johnson finding out financial aid for truck driving school. All right. Um, also, there is trade school financial aid as well. All right. So Anthony Johnson, I I hope this information uh, that I got for you works out for you, my brother. Um, Much success to you in your in in your uh, trucking career. I'm not even going to say trucking journey no more. I think journey is overused now. But in your trucking career, come on out here, man. Make sure you uh, in the first year, make sure you get your experience and the money will eventually come. All right. Everybody that's on YouTube, you know, that says that they making this kind of bag, this this uh, ten thousand dollars every week and all like that. Just know a rookie is not going to get that. Now, I had the pleasure of talking to a lot of drivers that came into the game within the first year and they 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 took it, molded it, learned it. And and now they are successful owner operators. A lot of ladies took that route. A lot of guys took that route. You know, back then the suggestion to me was, hey, come in, you know, be in the game for like two, three years, and then move on. No, that's not even the case no more. It was it was suggested to me that you couldn't even get local right out the gate. No, that's not even the case no more. There's guys out here that got local jobs right out the gate you don't even have to go otr no more you got guys out here saying yo go otr live in the truck and and save your money and 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 live in a truck like a hermit and 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 go otr for for three five years and save up your money you don't even have to do that no more you don't even have to do that no more you can go regional and make the same amount of money as an OTR driver. You can go local and make the same amount of money as an OTR driver. You know, local. Now, let me break it, and, and this is only my opinion, okay? I'm just saying. Break down what you want out of this industry. 
and let me let me break it down for you. Don't take the well take the advice, but take the advice and try to mold it into your own. All right, break down what you want out of this industry. So if you're if if you're a guy that wants to be home and and you know you got a family you might just start a family you might uh you know you might have a little a little baby on the side and i'm talking about a female not not the kid you know and you don't want to be away from her and you want to you know you probably got the relationship bumping and all like that and you got in the truck and look for something local all right there's there's uh there's local beer trucks uh coke trucks uh, there's a lot of local local day cabs. Um, the best way that that was suggested to me is to go out, find you know, go out and write down all the names of the day cabs that you've seen, and and uh, do your research from there. Now, if you a guy or a girl that likes traveling, then OTR might be for you. If you're a person that's coming out of a situation like I did, then OTR might be for you you might get away clear your head see some sights and and just do all sorts of things that you want to do all right if you're a person that wants to be home on the weekend like me once again then find something that's only regional there's a lot of regional companies and a lot of companies that are uh that are often regional come in Study the game, learn the game, be well with the game. You can come in, get your get get all your get all your experience, and within the next six months, you learn how to you know how to broker your own loads, how to get your how how to how to get you and your fleet manager on the same page. Then you just learn the business, the business side of trucking. Because owning a truck is one thing. Doing it as a business is another. And I can put you on point with a couple of people that has did it within the first year and that are still successful to this day. So, again, uh, Kelly K say thanks. Um, Kelly K said, can you please make a list? of the scholarship so I can share them. Um, let me see. You know what? I'll look it up. I'll look it up. And then, you know, uh, once I find it, I'll, I'll uh, put it in the description of this video, but I'm, I probably might not do it today because my time is almost up. And of course I've been on here for 48 minutes. So, um, fourth worth, Fourth Worth was was tragic. Yeah, that was tragic. Uh, we'll we'll tip on that in another video, uh, Malitha. Kelly K going to Georgia also. What? What? You going? What? Georgia. 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 All right, that's going to do it for me. I appreciate uh, D. Moore coming up in here. I'm learning the business now. That's what's up, D. Moore. Are you a guy? I think you are. I can't tell by your, I can't tell by your profile picture. But, uh, yo, that's what's up, man. Well, that's going to do it for this morning edition of the Lockout Man podcast show. I really do appreciate you guys being here, uh, all 12 of you. doesn't matter. It, one of you could have been in here and and rocked out with me throughout this entire video shout out to anthony johnson for the question if you guys have questions or anything like that hashtag question in the comments below uh of course i will read it and if it's a very interesting question i will make a video around said question i will do the work and all that good stuff if you if you like for me to do the work for you and all like that man you don't have to pay me for it. Book a brother up with some coffee. I'm going to need some this morning because I got about five hours to drive today. I tried to eliminate that 
from last night, but that wasn't going to happen. But uh, five hours to drive today, and I will be in Georgia around 6 o'clock tonight, and I will still be able to enjoy it. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button on the way out the door. Uh, let me uh, do this. You know what? I'm still going to leave that up there for you, Anthony Johnson. Uh, D, uh, D. Moore, that's my horse. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, it's so damn small on on the uh, you know, on the um on the broadcast thing behind. I, I can't see, you know, the pictures. TBE trucking says, I give you a like, man. Give me a like. Yo, hit that join button too, man. If y'all, if y'all think that I bring value to you guys or whatever, hit that join button. Join the community, man. And you can give me some coffee every damn day. And I will appreciate that. Somebody said, um, Somebody said that uh, I charge for uh, get the, for the make the call videos, and I just want to touch on that. No charging over here. No, if you want to donate, there's a difference. Donate, hell, you can donate a dollar. I mean, that's still that that's still good to me. I will appreciate it. You know what I'm saying? Every you know every. Every supporter counts. Every supporter counts. All right. So, again, I want to thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate it. And until next time, I will come back at you guys. Let me get the right one with another one. And then next, oh, by the way, next week, I'm going to have my guy uh, that I interviewed, my man at Scalibur. I'm going to have his song to be playing me out for uh, for a little while. But until then, y'all got this. Cause baby, once I'm gone, I ain't coming back. You gon' have to settle with another man. But when you realize, don't be running back.